Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So last week I was very sick and I was sick up until yesterday and today I woke up with like a burst of energy so here I am making my video. So anyways, um, so I wanted to share some of my ideas or my hacks for doing like kids school lunches and breakfast, right? Because I got some really good ideas. Like I am really proud of myself for like coming up with all this stuff. Okay, so the first thing I made, and I was super excited for it, like I even bought like a mini muffin pan for it. I made mini muffins. Look how cute they are! So I made those that I can pack like in my daughter's lunch or she can have them for breakfast. Like I don't care, like it's just one less thing that I have to deal with for lunch and breakfast. Um, and I will add a short clip how I made these. Here we go. So say it. Like it was super easy um, box cake mix you had a couple eggs some oil some milk mix it up um, I made if you couldn't tell I made chocolate chip right because who doesn't love chocolate chip and then I made uh, cinnamon sugar and she's already ate two of them and she's asking me for more so they must be really good plus you know I ate some myself because the chef always has to taste their creations well she's on her third one so I would say they're they're good I would say mom approved so anyways so I've made these ahead it's Sunday so you're watching this on Monday or whenever you're watching it um, Sunday is my prep day right so I've made my mini muffins and I've got a couple couple more like 24 more in the oven um, what I'm gonna do with these so they stay good and will last me for like two weeks because I only go grocery shopping once every two weeks is I'm gonna freeze them so like the night before I'll take a couple out or like in the morning I can just throw it in the microwave or the oven really fast and do it that way or to be honest like if I get one out in the morning and she's gonna eat it in her lunch it'll thaw by lunchtime so yeah okay, now also today um, I'm gonna be for so let's start with breakfast so these mini muffins can be for breakfast I'm gonna make pre make pancakes right and you're like why would you do that because they freeze really well so I'm gonna make a batch of pancakes. I'm gonna freeze them, put them in a bag. That way when I want one or to make one, um, all I have to do is pop it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and it's good. I've done it before. Saves you time, saves you money because like if you buy pre-made pancakes, I don't know, probably a bag is like four or five bucks. I make my pancakes from scratch. So I'm only, I'm making like a batch of 10 or 12 pancakes for like two bucks. So. That's gonna save me some time and energy in the morning. Now I've also bought cereal. Cereal is breakfast food. <laughs> but I did something different this time. I usually buy the big boxes of cereal, but I saw 
these little mini boxes and I'm like, oh, how cool because sometimes my daughter likes to make her own cereal in the morning. So this kind of helps uh, deter messes. So I bought a box of these that she can have an option of. Um, oh, okay, so I also bought a big box of waffles. Now, why did I buy waffles and not make them? Well, I don't have a waffle iron, but also I bought that box of 24. It's great value for $2.77, which I was buying the Eggo waffles, a box of 10 for like $3.98. So it was kind of a deal. Um, and then of course, stuff that I won't pre-make ahead is like she can have eggs or I've got fresh fruit, I've got yogurt. Let me show you this. Um, so I used to just throw stuff in my fridge, right? Like no organization. But I've gotten kind of like organized a little bit lately. So let me show you my um, goodie drawer. Okay, so this is a drawer that I throw like yogurt or I've got these like drinkable applesauces. Um, I've got some string cheese and grapes for them to choose from. I forgot, I got Jello too, cause Jello is life. Okay, so as far as breakfast, like I'm feeling pretty confident this week because I know breakfast is important, especially like for the younger kids because they're going to school and they're going like three hours without eating anything. Um, so I want to make sure she has something in her belly, something fast, because sometimes we procrastinate and she will lay up on the couch until like 15 till we need to leave and I'm just as bad. So I feel really confident about breakfast this, this next two weeks. So let me show you my lunch ideas. You know, like, okay, lunches really suck. I feel like I, I have sucked at doing lunches the past year for kindergarten, like bologna sandwich, peanut butter sandwich, or like, I don't know, string cheese, just sucky lunches, right? Like, what do you pack, like, that they'll eat? Because there's no microwave, right? You can't, like, heat stuff up like we can at work or then they can't go out and buy stuff and sometimes the school lunch really sucks so that's why I pack because I want to make sure I give her stuff she's gonna eat so I've came up with some great ideas let me show you so the other day I packed a cheeseburger in her lunch because I had bought an extra one from McDonald's and I just heated it up in the morning right and I wrapped it in tin foil and it stayed warm until she ate lunch so you can buy at all these Walmart too but Walmart's expensive I bought this um, six pack of these White Castle sliders for, I believe they were two something at Aldi's. All I have to do is heat it up in the morning and wrap it in some tin foil and she's good to go. She loves cheeseburgers. It's a different lunch. So I got those, also super excited. So who doesn't love pizza? Um, so I came up with the idea since I can wrap stuff in tin foil and it stays warm, uh, maybe not piping hot, but warm. I got some bagel bites. Um, I'm gonna heat a couple of these up, wrap in tin foil, and there's her pizza, right? Like, super smart, like I'm really excited. And you know, this is stuff that she eats at home. Ugh. Okay, now also, so um, I also bought hot dogs because I can do the same thing with a hot dog, heat the hot dog up, put it in the bun, wrap it in tin foil, and it's good to go for lunch. Um, let's see, what else? Also, okay, this is my favorite thing. So we had Subway for dinner. Um, last week, I believe Monday, because I had an epic mom fail. My chicken went bad and I thought it was okay. So I started like preparing it and the more I prepared it, the worse it smelled. When chicken is bad, it starts to smell like bleach. This smelled awful like bleach and I love bleach, but not this kind of bleach smell. So, and she really liked the sub and I bought a foot long. So she ended up taking the other half to lunch the next day and she really liked it. So at Walmart, you can buy sub buns uh, for a dollar and it's a pack of two, four, six. Okay, a pack of six. Now I do freeze these because if you don't put the uh, bread from Walmart in the freezer, it goes bad with like within the first week, like within three days, like it's molded. So I made sure to throw it directly in the freezer. So she's also gonna get subs for lunch. Like I'm super excited because subs are like, generally healthy depending on what you put on it but she likes like ham and cucumbers and some ranch so what the heck why not so anyways so when i'm ready to make a sub um i will either lay it out the night before so it can thaw or i'll just pop it like in the microwave or the oven like a toasted sub right and make the sub so really excited about that one okay and i don't like to buy a lot of junk to throw in her lunch because i want her fueled by stuff that's going to turn into energy for hours like slowly digest so that she has energy for the next couple hours of school unlike junk food that's good for like an hour and then you have a crash just like we do so 
for that, I've bought fruit, so like apples and peanut butter, um, grapes, bananas, string cheese, protein. String cheese is really good for like slow and steady energy. Um, pretzels. Pretzels are okay. Like she likes, she likes chips, but I, you know, like I said, I don't want all the junk. Now I did buy Doritos because I think even though I don't think she should have a bunch of junk, Doritos are fast and easy to eat at lunchtime. Bag of Doritos. Um, also, I bought. Now I like to buy this. There's a you can buy a three pack of the um, Capri Suns or like the Kool Aid Jammers for like five bucks. So got me a pack of those, and there's ten in a box. So that lasts me more than two weeks. But they also drink them at home, so it's kind of like. Eh, hit miss. So those are my lunch ideas. So I got subs, hot dogs, bagel bites, cheeseburgers. Uh, yeah. Also, okay. So sometimes she doesn't really like the sandwiches or heavy stuff. She just wants something light, and like she gives me an excuse. She doesn't know how she didn't eat her lunch in 30 minutes, but I know why because she talks. But um, I bought Ritz crackers that I can, you know, send the crackers, cheese, and some ham. She can build her own little, you know cracker sandwich whatever just like pant finger foods you know like easy stuff oh and I also so I'm such a hypocrite so I just told you guys that I don't like buying junk for my kid um but I you know even though I eat like moderately like healthy stuff I still like sweet stuff once in a while so I thought um you know I would go ahead and I bought a bag of M&Ms to send a little bit with her for like you know who doesn't get a sweet tooth after they eat so that's another thing you can throw in your kids' lunch. Um, the muffins, look how freaking cute they are. Just general, like there's some ideas for you. Cause let me tell you, your girl struggles a lot with, with school lunches. Like I feel like I'm packing the same thing every day and no wonder the kid ain't eating her sandwiches cause she's done had bologna for the past like two months. So I decided I would put more effort into it and I know a lot of parents struggle like I do. And this stuff really wasn't expensive. I know lunches are like two something here. And I believe with me like making this homemade, um, I, I don't know. I don't think my lunches are any more expensive than the school lunches, but she's getting a lot more of what she wants to eat. So uh, hopefully she starts eating her lunch. I noticed when I packed her the cheeseburger the other day that she came home, she had ate it and she had felt better. She wasn't so moody and grouchy like hangry so that's my goal so she's not hangry when she comes home because you know I cannot deal with that <laughs> on three different pieces of paper writing out you know like lunch ideas breakfast ideas meal ideas right so I could like be really prepared and like try to make this work like the most possible and so far I feel pretty successful like with my breakfast and my lunches right um, I think maybe dinner too like I think I did a pretty good job with dinners I even went as far as I wrote out a section of like YouTube videos that I was gonna do so like I could make sure I had the supplies like when I made that video and I think it does help when you like write everything out. Like, so I made um, a column with dinners, a column with lunches, a column with breakfast, and then of course my YouTube column, right? Cause I'm like trying to be more organized. I'm really not an organized person, but I really think I really wanna be dedicated to this. Like the whole YouTube thing and the whole like, you know, meal plan and thing. I used to meal plan all the time and it worked out so great. And I don't know why I haven't done it in a while, but it works out. So basically I write everything out, right? And then, okay, so that's just the first sheet. <laughs> and then my second sheet is like all of like the ingredients and like things for the meals and breakfast and lunches, right? And then the third um, is like the necessity stuff. Like I went through the second list and picked out things that I didn't need so much. So I wrote down on the third list, my final draft. Um, and then once I get everything done, of course I buy it. And then I have this handy dandy thing, right? Ooh, it's like a little chalkboard 
uh, with Sunday through Saturday on it. I'm not going to show the bottom because, oh my god, I'm a sucking at being a house cleaner. Okay, I got some laundry. Anyways, so I write out, you know, my meals for the week. So then, like, instead of being like, hmm, what am I making? And not knowing and having to, like, make some bull crap meal, I got it right there in front of me. Also, this really helps to save some money because if you're like me, like you get to the store and you have in your mind what you're making for like the next week, but then like your mind wanders and you forget stuff and then it becomes really expensive and then you get home and you realize like you don't have anything to make like any decent meals this week, just a bunch of bull crap. So definitely like this has been my go-to the past month. And I'm so excited to see how like these lunches turn out. Like I really think they're gonna turn out good. Like who would not love the lunches that I'm making like hamburgers, bagel bites, subs, like come on now. So I feel really confident, but I will let you know. Anyways, so this was my video today. Um, some tips for you guys who pack your kids' lunch or if you like wanna get more into meal planning. Um, Hopefully this was helpful. I know I didn't go into depth with like my meal planning or like my lunches. I just kind of gave you ideas like what I do. But if you want to see like more in-depth videos on like meal planning or like planning out breakfast and lunches for your kids, definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure you leave me some love. Give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Hey, I do all kinds of things. So yeah, this was today's video. I hope it gave you guys some ideas and some inspiration and definitely let me know if you want me to go into detail on more how to meal plan and do kids' lunches. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Hey, can you turn that crap down? I can't even hear myself think. You're six, why do you need to clear up the 50? It's on 35, that's still too loud. Turn it down! It is loud.